What can someone do to get you to like them within about a minute or two of meeting you? I had a client tell me she really likes me BC you can tell I genuinely listen to everything she's the saying and give an honest, thought out response. My business with said client ended back in February and she moves 800 miles away but she still texts and calls periodically to catch up with my family. This means so much to me BC I have very bad social anxiety and I am trying my best to seem normal around people, especially clients. Just out of curiosity what is your job? Literally any attempt at humor instantly earns my respect. A genuine smile and not complaining. So many people start a conversation by complaining about some aspect of their life that's just no way to live. I realized recently that I'm bad for doing this surprisingly difficult habit to break. You bond more with people who hate the same thing more than you do with those that like the same thing. HTTPS www.medicaldaily.com slash do dash negative dash attitudes dash bring dash us dash closer dash others dash why dash it's dash easier dash bond dash over dash share dash 410,876 Active listening. Pay attention to the person speaking and acknowledge what they're saying. When it comes to your turn to speak, chat for a short while. But bring it back around to them by asking open-ended questions and continue to actively listen. I don't know the full science behind it, but I read something before that it creates a comfortable relationship in the person's brain and they will instinctively like you more. NB. I can't say this actually worked for me. I'm rather socially inept and actually coming up with open-ended questions is a struggle. Stick up for someone. I, plumber, was meeting with a group of realtors to discuss some repairs that needed to be done at a house. One of the realtors was talking about another agent and said that she was retarded. Jason, one of the agents, stood up for her. Hey man, it's not cool to talk about her behind her back like that. And you shouldn't use the R word. Massive respect since then. And you shouldn't use the R word. Realtor. When the person makes you feel valued, that talking with you is a pleasure. Not just perfunctory. Door-to-door -door sales people are really good at this. Plus one for perfunctory. Yeah this 100%. Hand me cash. Here's three sweaty dollars that I keep in my sock. I once had a guy in Indiana give me a hundred dollars for no reason. Just made me suspicious. Turned out he'd been walking around giving out hundreds all night. Ordered a F ton of food from the restaurant I was working at and tipped my manager $700. That's very cash money of you. It might sound silly and simplistic but be comfortable and open. That helps the other person to do the same. Now it sounds more like hard and impossible. Tell them something personal for example, I'm hiding kids in my basement. Basement is really the best option. If you put them in the attic all they do is make an awful amount of noise. The pro tip, in case you don't have a basement, is to lay down the glass wool. If you are lucky you can even gather enough blood for the bi-weekly offering and can keep the kid. This doesn't count if you're telling it to the kids from your basement though. If I make a joke and they successfully, yes, and me, that feels really good. I love it when someone adds on. I also love it when someone sets me up. 10 out of 10 would talk to again. Yes. The best skill I learned from the few improv classes I took was just going with the flow by yes. And in real life it leads down some weird funny holes and gets a lot of positive reactions. When used in the right settings. It's funny because that's pretty much the first rule of comedy improv. Laugh at my dumb jokes. What can I say? I'm a simple woman. Flattery goes far. I'd love to hear a joke. Same except I'm a man. I don't really. It's like a gut feeling for me. I might instantly like someone or instantly dislike them. I would say be nice. But sometimes if I feel like I won't like the person, 
Even when they're being nice I won't still like them. This is not a good thing and I'm trying so hard to change. Me too. You know how so, e people say they can see auras. Well I can't. But maybe I can feel them. Either I like your vibe or I don't. Have a dog. Hello. I have two dogs. And let me pet your dog. Please. Any act of kindness. One time a friend of mine asked to carry my computer bag and I was like whoa I never noticed him. Before. It wasn't heavy but him being considerate really got me. I read asking someone for a small favor like to borrow a pencil gets people to feel connected to you. I think asking to help would have a similar effect. It's basically the same concept but you're on the giving side instead of receiving. Smile. Really. This. Can't tell how many times I've introduced myself to someone and all they did is saying their name. And looking at me like I just murdered their cat makes me instantly dislike them. Really unsettling with that username. Username checks out. Ask their name. Call them by their name. People like the sound of their names. Strongly disagree. Saying my name after you already have my attention gives me strong vibes of manipulation. Only say it to get my attention or I'm going to think you're trying to sell me something. I find it so weird to say people's names to them in conversation. Quoting Airplane, quote, I mean, a significant part of that movie is conversation so bad several people killed themselves. That being said, I could be misremembering on account of my drinking problem. Surely you can't be serious? I picked a bad week to quit amphetamines. Compliment something about me that could be changed in five minutes or less. Like a piece of clothing or my hair. A lot of people don't realize that complimenting body parts isn't something you do to a stranger. Because it's objectifying and uncomfortable. That aside, anyone who cares about what I write about is gonna make a friend real f quick because I crave validation for my writing. I could talk endlessly but I don't because I know no one wants to hear that s but if someone does, I will die on the spot. Not be a dick. Sad Richard noises. Within a conversation try to find what is exciting them at the moment and try to include whatever knowledge you have of that topic into conversation or look interested into what they are saying. Sometimes people just want good listeners.